In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a one-way ANOVA with Excel. The data that we have in front of us represents the preference or the desire of students to come to a particular campus after watching a given recruitment video. So this institution uses four different videos, and each video emphasizes a different aspect of campus life. So athletics, social life, academics, and arts and culture. The students are then asked to watch the videos and then indicate their desire or preference uh, for that institution on a scale of 1 to 100. So we have in our very first uh, case a random sample of 16 students was taken and randomly assigned to the four videos. So we now have four samples and those samples are independent of each other because each of them have an, a different four sets of students, a different four students. So the sample athletics is independent of social life, independent of academics, independent of arts and culture, and so forth. So this is a one-way analysis of variance. When we come back, we will do a two-way analysis of variance, but let's show you how we do the one-way analysis of variance. So under data, we have our analysis tool pack data analysis, so we select that, and then I'm going to do ANOVA. But this is a single factor ANOVA, so here we go, we select that, and the input range, I will highlight for my input range all these values, including the labels, so I must select labels. I will test the hypothesis at 5%, and my data is grouped by columns. One column, two columns, three columns, four columns. Output range, so I'll have one way ANOVA results. Okay? One way ANOVA results, and we are ready to go. That's it. It's that simple. Here's our answer. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have um, a data summary, the counts for each of the groups, so each sample is four, the sums, the average, and the variance of each of the samples. And then here's our results here, analysis of variance results. Notice we have sources of variation, SOV, as we wrote in class, sources of variation. And between the groups, okay, between the groups, it will be between the four types of videos. Here's our SS value, sum of squares. Within the groups, here's our sum of squares. And then we have degrees of freedom, K, N minus K, and this is K minus 1. Now, you know that the MS values, which is the mean square, is the SS divided by the degrees of freedom. That's essentially a variance. So we have 209.67 in the case of between groups, and then 315 divided by 12, we have 26.25. The ratio of MSB over MSW gives us our F statistic, which is 7.98. At a 5% significance level, the critical value is 3.49. So we see our observed frequent, um, F value is larger than our critical value. And so therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. Also, look at the p-value. P-value is less than 5%. And so therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. So as you can see, this worked out pretty well. Um, we will conclude that we have strong evidence or sufficient evidence that at least one of the means for the videos is different. So that means that the videos do not all have the same performance. One of them, at least one of them, is different. Okay, it could be better or worse than the others, we're not sure. And that's all there is to it in terms of doing analysis of variance in Excel. Now let's go back. Um, we're going to go back to the data. Let me see if I could find my sheets here. Because I want to use the same data set to show you how we would now do a two-way analysis of variance. I just got to find my sheets here.
this is interesting there you go so now we're going to do use the same data and do two way analysis of variance so we just saw the results for one way ANOVA and now we're going to do two ANOVA now with two analysis of variance we would use four individuals and have each of them watch each of the four videos so we get 16 data points but each person will watch each of the videos not necessarily in the same order in fact we should randomize the order so we don't get order effects because if you watch athletics before academics maybe that biases the result or academics before athletics it biases the result so we have to keep that in mind and do the right and sort of randomize the order amongst the four individuals okay so here's how we do this we go back to data data analysis and this time we do two factor ANOVA but without replication now when I say without replication what that means is that the person each uh, each person watching the video watches it only once if each of them watched it twice then we would have replication okay if each of them watched it twice we would essentially have replication so in this case we're saying no replication that means each person watches the video just once so for our input range we are now going to include the person so right here this column this first column and we're going to see that we have labels and then our would be our workbook two-way not workbook but sheet two-way and over results okay and away we go and here we are so in this example the, the individuals the students are the blocks and then the um, the different videos happen to be the groups so as you could see here mm. here's our group data but here's our block data right here okay and these are the descriptive statistics now sources of variation remember we have now we take SSW we break it up into SSBL plus SSE so rows would be our blocks B-L-O-C-K-X you want to make a note of that columns would be our groups and then error the error term so this value right here is really SSBL and then um, SSB SSE and this is SST degrees of freedom 3 and 3 9 which is uh, I remember row minus 1 times column minus 1 and so we have these values right here <coughs> which is 3 3 and 9 because you have a 4 by 4 matrix so 4 minus 1 times 4 minus 1 is 9 and so th what we're looking for to test the hypothesis that the group means are the same versus they're different at least one is different then we will be looking for MSB over MSE which is 7.27 and we could see our p-value is 0 0.008871 so we have a significant event here we have uh, enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the at least one of the mean scores for the videos is different now if we were interested in the blocks is there a difference between the students the block means in that case if there was a difference between them we should get a significant result over here but as you could see our p-value is 0.6 so therefore we do not have evidence to reject the null hypothesis that the block means are different in other words the students differ in the average evaluations the mean evaluations for the students actually differed we don't have that uh, in this case so that's two-way analysis of variance and you just need to know what each of these terms are so this will be um, SSBL SSB SSE SST this value would be the uh, degrees of freedom associated with BL degrees of freedom associated with B 
degrees of freedom associated with E, which is the error, and the total degrees of freedom. And then we have MSBL, MSB, MSE. This F value is MSBL over MSE, and this value is MSB over MSE. And we have our P values. So once you understand that, um, we're good to go. Also keep in mind that these three values add up to 944. They add up to that. So once you understand this table, it's uh, two and a half severance is fairly straightforward. Okay? Excellent.